You're obviously not aware of this, but blessed is not a word the global majority thinks of in association with Europeans. Words like plague and colonizer, maybe, but not blessed. And the cell phone in my hand came from China. So I don't know if you're referencing Steve Jobs or Martin Cooper or the Finnish inventor who created the first pocket-sized telecommunication device in 1917, and you probably don't know either because your education system has left you terribly ignorant and without the critical thinking skills necessary to effectively gather information. Because you believe that most great inventions can be attributed to one white person, as opposed to recognizing that the patent system is how white people colonize intellectual property. We would not have cell phones if it wasn't for the creation of the gamma electrical cell by black inventor Henry T. Sampson. And most of our cell phones would not have microphones in them if it wasn't for the particular microphone that was created by black inventor James Edward West. The creation of the first digital network, 1G, was launched in Japan, and then black electrical engineer Jesse Russell pioneered the creation of 2G, which launched in Finland first. 3G launched in Japan, 4G launched in Norway, 5G launched in South Korea, and 30% of the world's cell phones are manufactured in China. Because we, of the global majority, recognize that collective humanity has the ingenuity and creativity of one another to thank. Whereas a lot of European Americans are laboring under the delusion that the rest of us have white people to thank. And it's this narcissistic ignorance that causes people like you to do embarrassing things, like leaving comments about Europeans and cell phones on a video about systemic anti-black in the United States. And while that could be written off as a comedic and senile non sequitur, we recognize it as a desperate attempt to center yourself in a conversation that has nothing to do with you. The irony being that white people like to say not all white people and that you shouldn't be held accountable for the misdeeds of their ancestors, yet they want to be associated with the greatness of the things that they think they invented. This woman is very knowledgeable. She did her homework. Hey, hey. Many of our great teachers have stated how black inventors were not given credit for being the inventors of many things, particularly in America and all over the world. But it goes much further than that. It is such a good look from an intelligent Asian woman, Asian woman to state this fact because when we say it, People tend to think we are lying, but with research, you will find the truth. In fact, I love this so much. Tell it, tell it, my sister. Everything you have mentioned, from invention, theft, to what it means to be woke, they really struggle with that one a lot. The Chinese documented the experience of smelling the offensive stench. Coming from European traders, they refused their hospitality that included them. So, John Michael Kohler was an American who invented the bathtub in 1883. But let's think about this critically. Do you really think that nobody took a bath until John Michael Kohler invented the bathtub in 1883? Doesn't make a lot of sense, right? So what he was talking about is the fact that Africans introduced bathing and the concept of personal hygiene to Western Europe in order to build a healthier society during the 800-year occupation of Spain. In particular, a man by this name introduced the practices of bathing, shaving, and using toothpaste, as well as drastically improving the eating habits of Western Europeans. Additionally, the first recorded history of people taking baths was in India in 500 BC. A lot of us have gotten used to how little history some people like you know, particularly where it comes to anything not Eurocentric. However, I have a tip. Before you make a comment like this, do a quick Google search for whatever you think the topic at hand is. In this case, who invented bathing or who introduced bathing to Europe and then decide whether you still want to make this comment. I made the regrettable mistake of trying to date a Caucasian, which is not my practice. <laughs> I was strict to believe that she was half black, or I would not have done it. But she is really half indigenous American and half Caucasian. That is European. 
in my opinion. When I witnessed their hygienic practices, I was appalled. They only really wa they only really wash their hair. They don't use washcloths or bath sponges and throw their bath towels directly into the dryer with other cloths after using them. They got irritated if you take a shower after every stool usage when conversely black women will not let you crawl your crusty butt up in their sheets. I am not making this up. They are really, really, really like that.